I recreated the cutest clown nails I saw on the internet. Cat eye gel polish, pixie crystals, hand painted clouds, and custom mixed rainy day blue. And this turned out to be my favorite and my cutest set I've ever had. So I got this reference picture and I couldn't find the artist. It traced back to some AliExpress ads for cloud nail stickers. This was love at first sight for me and I just got to have it. So here are the tools, some dotted metal wire, sugar glitters, caviar beads, pixie crystals, nail charms and regular silver crystals, acrylic paint for DIY spider gel, some blue and white nail gels and mixing palette. This design is made with semi-transparent gel, so I only need a small nail lamp. After dry manicure, I buff my nails lightly with 120 files. And the first thing I'm going to do here is to DIY some spider gel with acrylic paint, white gel polish, and some heart gel. So this is the recipe I found from YouTube and I use 1 to 1 to 1 ratio to mix all the ingredients. And apparently the longer you let it sit, the stretchier it gets. And that's why I'm doing it first. And spoiler alert, it kind of works but not as stretchy or thin as I like it to be. I cover the mixture with a little cup so the dust doesn't get on top of it. Next, I'm mixing some transparent blue color. I'm now going to match the color with the reference picture. I'm going to match it with my glitter instead, so that it all looks tied together. Next time, instead of mixing it with a toothpick, I really should use um, some silicone tip brush to mix it. So to prepare my nails, I use the hydrator and then followed by a small amount of primer. I like to buff my primer on my nail but just make sure it's a small amount. And I use a thin layer of face gel to avoid lifting. Too much primer can cause lifting and too much base coat is also going to cause lifting. And I like to add a layer of hard gel to improve the strength and also to make sure I don't over file my nails when I take them off. So when I take this set off, I will file away the color layer and if the hard gel layer didn't lift, I'll just keep it on my nails. You can avoid filing the surface if you do this step with leveling gel or reinforced gel. It's just very hard to get it e perfectly even with hard gel, so I kind of have to file it again. So lately I find it easier to use Lysol wipe style of wipes like this, but make sure the only ingredient is alcohol. 
So the first layer of color is the cat eye gel. I'm making an ombre effect and focus on the tip. The ombre doesn't need to be perfect. To get the cat eye effect, I first move the magnet along the left and right side to orient the metallic flakes upward, so all the sparkle is revealed. Second, I push it from the root towards the tip for a French tip effect. And the last thing is to move the magnet around your tip of the nail. So this will draw a curved light around the tip. So the second color code is the semi-transparent periwinkle blue gray. It is so easy to make ombre with semi-transparent color, but I have to use three layers of this color to make it even. Now let's move on to the white French tip with spider gel. And notice on my reference picture the tip is not a solid white, so the white spider gel will show on top of it. Now it's time to see if this spider gel works. I think the gel is super stretchy as you can see here, but it is nearly impossible to achieve the hair thin look that I wanted. The thick spider lines dis uh, disturb the symmetry of the French tip, so I tried for about 20 times before giving it up and I wiped it off my nails. The last layer of color is going to be the cloud. I painted it with toothpick for a better control. I used clean brush to fade the bottom of the cloud. Then I used segments of the wire to build the outline of the cloud. I dip it in nail glue gel and arrange it on my thumbnail. So after that's done, I applied a layer of glue gel inside of the outline and immediately I put another layer of top coat, non-wipe top coat, um, just right on top of the glue gel so that the finished nail will not have that sticky layer. Then I just poured some pixie crystals and cured the nail. Now I'm sticking a nail charm and make sure to fill the gaps at the back of my nail charm so my hair won't get caught in between. 
and also make sure to top coat where I put down the nail glue gel because um, just to get rid of the sticky layer on top. So now it's time for sugar nail. I put a layer of top coat on my nail and here I regret dipping my nail with the top coat because that will pick up too much glitter and it just gets everywhere. So I end up top coating the glitter. And here is the finish set under the natural sunlight. I like how the rim of the cat eye gel make my nail look like a drop of water. I will definitely repeat this cat eye french ombre concept in my future video. I think my nail turned out to be close to the reference. And I like it a lot. Let me know what you think in the comment. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching.